we will take a look at the elements panel of Firefox Firebug extension, we'll see how we can modify the DOM elements on the fly using the elements panel. So let's get started with elements panel. To launch Firebug, just click on the small bug icon in the toolbar and Firebug will be enabled. You can also use F12 command key to invoke Firebug. Now once invoked, you will notice you are coming inside the HTML tab. That is the elements panel over here. This gives you the DOM view of the page that is loaded, basically the URL that is loaded and you can see everything inside it. You can expand by clicking on the plus icons and you'll notice when you are hovering on a specific element that element is getting selected in the page so you can identify which element you are actually at in the DOM and you can also inspect a specific element for instance if I have to see the text box I can click on inspect element with firebug and that will bring me directly to that input box in the HTML or elements panel I can then add attributes to this particular element so if I have to add some attributes I can simply go here say new attribute and then let's say provide it a value attribute where it could be my email ID or full name in this case it will be my full name so I can write full name over here close it you can see that I have easily provided a, a new attribute which is now shown inside the text box I can also remove elements from the DOM by simply selecting that element right clicking and choosing delete element so if I have to delete this one I can click on delete element and the text box will be removed from the DOM so let's do that you'll notice that the first name or the full name is removed from the DOM now if you want to edit the HTML you can do that by right clicking that element and selecting edit HTML you will be provided an edit interface wherein you can simply go ahead and freely type in anything that you want for that particular element so if I have to add in value attribute add a value attribute over here I'll simply say value is equal to and that way you can see that the value is getting populated in the text box over here once you are done with the editing you can click on this edit button and it will bring you back to the DOM view now the HTML or the elements panel also allows you to provide style sheets to a given element you can also see the associated style sheets with each of these elements for instance class is equal to form control and you will notice that form control is having these many properties and you can simply go ahead and add your own over here or you can delete or disable any of the properties that you want to and then you can see what effect it is having on this style you can also add a new style attribute by simply double clicking on the element dot style and anything that you will put over here let's say margin top for instance you can notice that the IntelliSense support is also there and then I can say margin top any value that you feel like you can provide it over here and whatever attribute you are providing you'll notice that it is coming inside the style attribute of the input tag so margin bottom 10 pixels margin top minus 20 the effect over here is real time so if you are increasing the value you will notice that the email text box and everything else is going a bit down and if I am decreasing the value it's going up so you can see the changes live so it's like you don't have to change and then click somewhere outside to see the effect it's whenever you are doing it it's happening then and there in case you want to copy a specific set of DOM elements you can do that by clicking on copy HTML you can also be specific and click on copy in or HTML what it will do is for instance over here the class container that we have selected if you select copy in or HTML then it will select the contents of this div that we have selected that means div with this class and video wrap class will be copied and if I simply say 
copy HTML in that case the whole div that we have selected will be copied you can also right click and select inspect and in DOM panel and what it will do is it will take you to the DOM panel where you can see all the attributes related to this particular text box you can see the actual value that the default value we have provided to it and every other HTML property that this particular tag is having you can see that let's say you have scrolled down and then you have selected this particular element and in order to view it all you need to do is just click on this and say scroll into view it will scroll you to that particular level and then you can easily access that element so you don't have to scroll and see where exactly that element is located when you are visiting or traversing this DOM structure you can also add a new element over here if you feel like so let's say if I have to add one more text box I can simply do that either by copying the HTML and then right clicking on form and say I want to edit this I can simply go ahead and over here I can say Control V or paste here I can say first name or full name as it was earlier name I can change to name and value I can change to this so you can see that I have now added a text box over here using the HTML panel I can also edit any HTML attribute over here directly if I want to for instance if I have to change the text of sign up to let's say sign with an hyphen I can do so by simply clicking over here and you can notice the change over here on the button sign up so this was introduction of elements panel or HTML panel in firebug we covered how we can play with the document object model that we see over here and uh, how we can add styles to it how we can copy inner html or the whole html itself and edit it 